Hi, all my friends. I'm actually in my office today, and I just wanted to come, and I wanted to read you a story that I have for you today and share a little scripture that I absolutely love. I know that Jesus loves me so much. So anyway, I just wanted to tell you the little story. It's about a little boy named Will. So he wasn't quite three years old. Some of you are actually three, maybe even four, or maybe even five, and maybe even a lot older than that. I know I'm a lot older than that, but anyway, we're not going to go there. Um, Will, little Will, not quite three years old, truly loved Jesus. And he came to church one Sunday night and discovered that there was no Sunday school. And it had been canceled, and he was so unhappy about it. With tears running down his eyes, he spied his pastor and he said, looked up at her and he said, Sunday school was canceled. And our pastor could see his earnest desire, which means his earnest wants. He really wanted to go to Sunday school. And it touched her heart so much that she allowed him and another little boy to go along with two of his teachers to have class that evening. Will was one happy camper. My goodness, he was happy he had Sunday school that night. On another evening, this same little boy was very sick and he was running a high fever, but he wanted to go to church. His father tried to convince Will that he needed to stay home and rest, but Will looked up at dad and said, I have to go. Jesus is waiting for me there. Now, I know that we're not in church yet, and it's very, very important that we follow all the guidelines that are happening. It's going to come really soon, and we're working. Pastor, your pastor is working on it really hard. But if you're home, if you're sick, you don't want to come out anywhere so that you don't give it to anybody. Jesus, the one thing I know is Jesus is with you. Even if you can't come into church, he's with you in your heart. He's whis he's little whispering. Oh, that was crazy. He's with you in your heart. He's with you in your room. He's with you in your home. He's with you everywhere. So I just thought that was just a cute little story to tell you. And I just have a wonderful scripture I'm going to share with you in just a minute. And I have a little bit more on the thought. I was thinking the other day about what it means to really love somebody. Now, this little boy, Will, he really loves, he really loved Jesus. When you love someone, you trust them. You feel safe when you are with them. You're not afraid to talk to them about the deepest things in your heart and what you hope for and what you want to do in life. You just want to talk to that person. You don't mind sharing anything with them. And when you are with someone you love, you want to leave them. You never want to leave them and you always want to be with them. There's a special bond, a special connection. It's just like this. It's like, oh my goodness, nobody can tear that connection apart. You can place your confidence in someone that you love and you have faith in them. That means you trust them with everything. You know that no matter what, that person will always be there for you. And that's really important and I love that. The word trust means a firm belief or confidence in having faith in having faith in someone else. Now, I think of your moms and dads, and you know mom and dad love you. There's no question they can get upset with you, you can do something wrong, and mom and dad are always there to say, it's okay, I love you. That's confidence, knowing that you know your mom and dad are always there, which I think is beautiful. It means confident expectation, whoa, that's a big word to rely or depend on. That's what knowing, in other words, expectation is knowing that your mom and dad are there. But I want you to know that you, your expectation can be knowing that Jesus is there. And to allow someone to do something without fear or the or outcome 
to commit your life to knowing that you will be taken care of. That's exactly what your mom and dad do. But you can do the same thing with Jesus. It says when you ask Jesus to come into your heart and you fall in love with Jesus, that little boy Will was in love with Jesus. He, Jesus is going to take care of you. Yes, he is. He will be a friend that will always be there. And I found a beautiful scripture I want to share. And it's found in Jeremiah. The scripture says that I will love you with an everlasting love. An everlasting love. Jesus loves you. That means an everlasting means me forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Jesus loves you. So you can always go. And in Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Don't lean not unto your own understanding in all thy ways. Acknowledge him and he will direct your path. I love that scripture. You can trust Jesus with every area of your life. As you walk with him, you will fall in love with him more and more. In him is everything you need. Everything that you need. You can go to him and i love that i love jesus he's my bestest bestest friend ever all right i love you all big hugs all right see you later hi everyone i my little hands have a song today so we're gonna sing jesus is the best friend i ever 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 had so ready jesus is the best friend i ever had Gave me nothing but good, and he took away the bad. He picks me up when I'm down. He cheers me when I'm sad. No, cheers me when I'm sad. Right, okay. Jesus is the best friend I ever had. Let's all sing it. Jesus is the best friend I ever had. Gave me nothing but good, and he took away the bad. He picks me up when I'm down. He cheers me when I'm sad. Jesus is the best friend I ever had. Now let's sing it slow. Jesus is the best friend I ever had. Gave me nothing but good and took away the bad. He picks me up when I'm sad. Cheers me. I forgot the words. When I'm sad. Jesus is the best friend I ever had. Now, let's speed it up. Hello! Welcome to our new edition of Game Movie, my friend. Uh, I'm glad to have you once again. Uh, we're going to do a few minute exercise, just a few minutes, okay? So today, we're going to start with a knee high, okay? We go slow and as we go on, raise it a little bit, okay? All right, start with a little jog. Like I said, this exercise got to be with a little, you know, swag. Uh, you got to love everything you do, okay? You know. Every now, try to love it, and uh, by the time you will know how to feel it, right? Just, all right, just a little bit. Good. High. Keep going a little high. Good. Shoulder up. I mean, chest, shoulder up, chest up, chest, and all that straight. See, posture is very important. Okay, now a little high. Just one. Job. All right. Very good. I like this exercise. I like add the jump jack in it because it does help a little bit. Uh, you know, warm up the body. Okay, just good. One, two, one, two. One, two. 
All right, let's go this one. Now slow, slow, slow. All right, we're going down for this exercise. Don't be in a run up position. Hopefully, you can see me right. All right, ready? Just, yeah. Move it. All right, I turn quickly. See what I'm doing here. Good job. All right. Now we're going down again. But this time, take a little breath. Breathe. We're going down. We're doing a push up, a little push up here. Okay? Go. This is a little intense. I'm not letting you breathe. Sometimes you just have to do it. Okay? Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Hold it. Breathe. Breathe. Let's go. If you can do two, do two. Three, do three. Okay? But just repeat. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. All right. Our next one. All right. Hold it. Go all the way. Down. Keep your both feet on the ground. Just try to bend. Go down as much as you can. Good. Shoulder up. Stretch those tight muscles. Good job. If you need a, a little break, you can pause it, go drink water, and come back to it. You gotta finish what you start. I'll be watching you, I know. Good job, good job, good job, good job. All right, we're finished with this quick exercise for you basketball lovers, you know, Okay, you're gonna go. Okay, we shoot. Shoot the ball. Go. Hey. Yeah. See it? Uh, oh, nice. You can tell I'm not that kind of basketball player. If you're me soccer, I can do fancy feet here. All right. Go. Keep doing it quick. Imagine having the ball in your hand and shooting three pointer or two pointer. Uh, how they call it, jump a shot, you know, whatever. That's how you call it, right? Keep doing it quick. Hey, see the defender come at you, all right? You ready? See the ball go in. Oh, good job, good job, good job. I love you guys. Thanks for coming. See you next time. Okay, we're gonna do another drawing lesson. Now, today we are going to go under the sea. So we're gonna do a fish, okay? Now on your paper, you're gonna come down a little bit here and right about here, not in the middle, but a little over to the left. Let's do this. You're gonna go out and down and out just a little bit like that, okay? Now, round this a little bit, and then you're gonna come in like this, and then up. And then you're gonna put a line right there, like that, okay? 
Now from here, you're gonna go right about here. And you're gonna go up and over and then down, but not all the way. See how this is a little further? And then you're gonna go like this. You're gonna go like that. And then you're gonna do another one, but it's gonna be a little lower this time, like that. Then you're gonna do another one, like that. And then down, see how it's going up? And then they're getting smaller. And then you're gonna do one more, like this, and then down, and then like that. And now, from here, you're gonna go like this. Like that, okay? Now, from here, you're gonna come down like this and then around like that. And then another one like that, and another one like that. And then you're gonna come up and do his tail, right like that and then come down and you're gonna do a line here and then come out like this, do another line and then like that and then down and then like that and down and then like this, up and then down like this and then in. Now you're gonna start doing this body coming right down to about here. I'm going to stop there. Now, we're going to give him some eyes. Fish have big eyes. So right about here, you're going to make kind of like, almost like an egg shape. And then here, see where I am? You're going to come down around like that and make another kind of like an egg shape like that. All right? And give him a little eyebrow. Our fish can have a little eyebrow. Now, you're gonna do a circle, about like that, and a circle, right about like that. Another little circle inside, another little circle inside. Now he looks kind of googly-eyed, like he ate something hot. But you're gonna color in, but don't color in the little circle in the middle. All right, just like this. And you're gonna color this in just like this. Now you can always go back because this is something you can stop, you can rewind, or whatever you wanna do. Okay, so far so good. From here, right about here, see what his mouth is? Come down a little bit from his mouth and you're gonna start right about here and you're gonna come down like this and then down like this, okay? And then you're gonna come out like this and then do a hand. Like that, and then in like that. See how that looks? Okay, and then like this. Now, fish don't have hands. But we're doing the drawing so we can make a fish any way we want. Now, from here, see where his eye is? Come down about here, all right? And you're gonna come down and around like this and then up to there like that, okay? Now this fish is gonna have some teeth like that and we're gonna give them a tongue. So you're gonna go like this, just make a lump up, almost like the top of a lip. And then we're gonna color this in, like this. You can do this lip part later if you want to. I'm gonna do it now. And it's gonna take a minute, so you wanna color all this in because inside this fish is gonna be dark. Well, I wish I hadn't started this because it's gonna take me a minute, but that's okay because you can always fast forward me. There should be a little thing on your phone that says a 10 or a 15 and you can hit that and I will be done with this. Oh, I'll hurry up, here I go. Okay, you can go make yourself 
a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay, here we go. Make me one too while you're at it. Okay, I'm almost done. Here we go. Now, it's starting to make a little more sense? Okay. Boy. Okay, there he is. Now, we're gonna put a little line here for a lip, because this fish is gonna have a lip. Now, fish have gills. So we're gonna have, just draw some lines here like this, like that, and they get smaller as you go. Okay, now from here, we're gonna come right about here and we're gonna come down, around, and we're gonna go like this, and like this, and like this. Okay, so far so good. Now we're gonna give him another hand. Right about here, see about halfway down his mouth, we're gonna come down and like that, and down like that. Now we're gonna do his hand. You come out and then give him a thumb. And then you go like this. One, two, three, four. And then a little thing for a hand there. So like that because we know that fish have five fingers, not. Okay, now here, you're gonna make a couple little lines like that. So it looks like fins. Ah, see that? Now, the other thing we're gonna do is this fish, and you're gonna give him, so he looks like he's underwater. Don't make him real round, just kinda Make them quick, like that. Some bubbles. Okay, there are some bubbles. And then we're gonna make a couple of lines coming up like this. Just little ones. Little ones, like that. And then you're gonna do a little line here. One line here, and here, 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 and that is our fish. <laughs>